Hey guys, it's Wednesday, April 7th, 2010, and today is brought to you by our newest sponsor, a weird male fetish found on the internet called Breast Expansion. Only it was real. <gasps> now I know what you're thinking, Phil, where do I find that shade of lipstick that she has on? It's gorgeous. I'm not sure. But to the other thing that you might be thinking, where do I find this magic water? It doesn't exist. It's all in editing. I know your mind was blown. You're like, something that's fake and on the internet? I need to go to Wikipedia to understand what I'm feeling. But it is this new fetish that is like hit the web where these dudes just really like to see boobs grow in real time. And I can understand that because it involves two things. Breastuses and magic without the douchebag. That's like birthday cake covered in hot lesbians wrestling and sprinkles because everything's better with sprinkles. But it is probably a good thing that these things do not exist. For two days you would just have dudes running around with super soakers just like ah, Yes! Best! Day ever! Until like a week later when all the women have died because all their backs split in two because there was too much here. They just split in two, they couldn't support the weight. And this is what I think of when I stare at the camera. Now something else I wanted to talk about was this thing coming out of the UK called retoxification. It's where you have like former junkies or people that were addicted to drugs and uh, they went into jail and they, you know, they've been drug free. Whether they decided on it or they just couldn't get a hold of it any other way. And upon release, the prison does something called retoxification. They give the prisoner methadone, the substitute for heroin heroin to get their body accustomed to the drugs so that when they go out there, if they do it, they don't OD. You've given up on them and you're like, you're a fuck up, you're gonna fuck up again, just don't die. Rehabilitation is just a lie. This is insane. Most crimes happen when someone is abusing a substance. So because you don't want this person to kill themselves if they do decide to take heroin again, getting their body ready for some drugs, what up? And it's just confusing to me because you're missing the point that if they do die, nothing Bad happens. And it turns out this is actually a normal procedure. In other countries, this has been happening for a long time. Nothing makes sense. And Tom, the quickies! Even though finally Tiger Woods has gone back to golf and everything seemed to be okay, a news story came out showing that he had sex with his neighbor's daughter. For a while there, I didn't think it was gonna happen, but they finally played the black guy living next door is going to sleep with your wife or your daughter card. The oldest American alive has now died. Miss Nava Morris of Iowa was 114 years and 245 days old. She was described by her friends and family as very quite mentally alert. And she loved to sing, You Are My Sunshine. She also died in a nursing home because people suck. Finally, the first legal American male gigolo has quit his job. There just weren't enough ladies. Mainly because ladies can get laid by anyone they want at any time. You just have to ask. In case you didn't know, now you do, and that was quickies. And guys, probably my favorite thing from today, a girl who's angry with her ex-boyfriend, so she does something amazing. Hi Brad, remember when we broke up last week? Well guess what? I went into your email and I changed the password and look what came in. This StarCraft 2 beta key shit. I remember how much you really wanted this when we were going out because you love video games so much I deleted the fucking email and guess what? You're never gonna get this shit. You're never gonna fucking get it because I fucking hate you Brad. You're a fucking dick. I think I love that girl. And I think it's because I love crazy chicks. I mean it's no boob expansion but it's up there. But guys of course if you want to check out any of those videos stories, anything I included in today's video. Check out those links in the description along with today's new vloggy and a brand new episode of Like Totally Awesome with someone that I think you're gonna really enjoy. I'll let you check it out on your own. It's kind of a surprise. And boys and girls, your question of the day today is what is your fetish? Specifically your weirdest one. I won't judge you, but other people may. But guys, that's really all that mattered to me this Wednesday. And guys, as of now, my name is Jamal Johnson and you've been Jamaled in. Doesn't have the same ring to it. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> We never really talk to one of because, you know, look at, look at all the emotions. We're getting sleepy and also shy. <laughs>